Okay, uh, hello and good day everyone. No? So today we are going to discuss no, the last part no, of this uh, week's uh, topics uh, lessons no, which is all about the distance between two parallel lines. No? So ka, nung, nung video is about point and this and the line. This time naman two lines which are parallel. No? Kasi hindi natin pwede compute yung ano, eh, distance of two perpendicular lines. Eh. Yung parallel lines lang pwede. Okay? To find the distance between two parallel lines, we must make two equation have the same form, no? So dapat yung equation have the same form, no? It's either in general or standard form, no? Dapat parehas yun sila or mas maganda kung nasa standard form lahat. Then identify the values of a, b, c sub 1 and c sub 2, no? E bakit ano lang dalawa yung value ng si John sir, no? Kasi pagdating sa parallel line, no, yung value ng a and b are equal. No, yung two lines na yun. Yung A and B nila equal. Nagkakaiba lang sa C. Okay? Use the formula D. No? Equal to the absolute value of C sub 2 minus C sub 1 all over, the, all over by the square root of A squared plus B squared. Okay? Then substitute all the values and perform the given operations. Rationalize the result if the denominator is not a perfect square. So tulad dun sa unang video na kailangan pa natin i-rationalize. Pero meron tayong another technique. Okay? So, pa-clean natin para naman di mahirap sa inyo. Okay? Example, find the distance between the parallel lines 3x minus 2y plus 7 equal to 0 and 3x minus 2y minus 13 equal to 0. Okay? So, ito yung mga lines natin, no? Wait lang. Bakit di nag yung isa? Okay, ito yung isa. No? Hindi naka-block. Okay. Find the distance between the two parallel lines 3x minus 2y plus 7 equal to 0 and 3x minus 2y minus 13 equal to 0. So, itong dalawang to, no? As you can see, no, first term nila parehas, para silang 3x, second term para silang negative 2y. Nagkaiba lang dito sa third term or yung last term nila. Now, your A here is 3, kasi syempre parehas lang naman sila sa so isang copy lang. Your B here is negative 2. Your C sub 1 ito, yung unang equation, which is 7. Yung C sub 2 naman dito sa second equation, which is negative 13. Then now, substitute no, to this formula. Your C sub 2 is negative 13 minus your C sub 1 is 7 all over by your A is 3. So 3 squared plus your B is negative 2. So we have negative 2 squared. Then now negative 13 minus 7, that is negative 20 all over by 9 plus 4. Okay, absolute value of negative 20 is 20 over by 9 plus 4 is 13. Okay, the square root of 13, no? 13 is not a perfect square. Rationalize it natin. So maging 20 times square root of 13 over by 13. Then, uh, simplify natin, no? magiging 5.6 units yun, uh, approximate value nila. Okay? Kunin natin yung uh, value ng square root of 13, then multiply by 20, then after that, so, I mean divide by 13. So, makukuha nyo itong sagot. Round off na to, uh, to the nearest tenths. Next, find the distance between the parallel lines x plus 4y plus 8 equal to 0 and 3x plus 12y minus 6 equal to 0. Okay, tignan natin dalawang equation na to, no? As you can see, no, yung x dito sa first equation, x plus 4y plus 8, is different to the second equation, which is 3x plus 12y minus 6. Magkaiba. So since parallel lines naman sila, gagawin natin pareho, no? By multiplying both sides by 3. Okay, kasi 3 yung, I mean, uh, 3x dito eh. So para maging 3x, multiply by 3. So 3 times x is... 3x, 3 times 4 is 12, 8 times 3 is 24. Now, tignan natin, parehas na ba sila? Parehas 3x, parehas 12y. Dito lang nagkaiba. Okay? So now, gamitin na natin to, no? Your a here is 3, your b is 12, your c sub 1 is 24 na, c sub 2 is negative 6. Substitute, we have negative 6 minus 24 all over by your a sub your a here is 3. So you have a squared plus your b is 12. No? So you have 12 squared. Negative 6 minus 24 is negative 30 over by 3 squared is 9. 
12 squared is 144. So absolute value of negative 30 is 30. 9 plus 144 is 153. Okay? Shortcut method, get the approximate value of 153. Magiging 12.37 yan using your calculator. Check nyo. Okay, then 30 divided by 12.37, that is equal to 2.4 units. Approximate value lang din to. Pag sinabi ang approximate, hindi eksakto. So may mga round off tayo dyan. Okay, find the distance between two parallel lines. Now, for number one, x plus 2y minus 8 equal to 0 and x plus 2y plus 4 equal to 0. Madali lang. A, yung A, A mo is 1, B is 2, C sub 1 is negative 8, kalingan dito, C sub 2 naman is 4. Substitute. Then we have 4, okay, C sub 2 yan, minus your C sub 1 is negative 8, all over by 1 squared, kalingan dito, and 2 squared, kalingan dito. 4 minus negative 8 or 4 plus 8, that is equal to 12. Then a uh, square of 1 is 1. The, the square of 2 is 4. No? So absolute value of 12 is 12. Again, not a perfect square in 5. No? Get this, the approximate value. So we have 12 over by 2.24, which is equal to 5.37. Ayan ang distance. Okay. Next, 3x minus 4y plus 4 equal to 0. Then 3x minus 4y minus 12 equal to 0. Oh, your a is 3, your b is negative 4. Your c sub 1 is 4. Your c sub 2 is negative 12. Substitute lang. Then you have negative 12 minus 4. That is equal to negative 16. 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 squared is 16. Absolute value of negative 16. We have here. That is not 12. No, wait. Siguro di ko na edit to. Okay. 16, no? 9 plus 16 is 25, no? Then, 16 divided by 5, no? Try natin, calculator. Okay. So, magiging uh, 16 divided by 5. That is equal to 3.2. So this one is 3.2. Okay. This one is 3.2. Okay. For that is for number two. Exercise. Next. How about this one? No? X equal to 10 and X equal to 2. Okay. So how can we find? No? the distance between these two lines. Two lines yan, mga lines yan. Yan nga lang, yung x equal to 2, it is located in the x-axis no, na nag-for ng vertical line. While yung x sub 2 then, okay, lies on a x-axis that forms a vertical line also. Now, we have the y sub 1, I mean y, y equal to 1, no, kasi yung x natin yan is 1. Your b, since walang y nakalagay, automatic 0 yon. Your C sub 1 is negative 10 kasi nga kapag nirewrite natin ito standard form, transpose 10 to the other side, may negative 10 yan. Then C sub 2 naman is negative 2 kasi transpose to the other side, may negative 2. Substitute. C sub 2 is negative 2 minus your C sub 1 is negative 10 all over by 1 squared plus 0 squared. No? Negative 2 plus 10 is equal to 8 all over by 1 plus 0. So, this, the square root of 1 is 8 over by 1 is 8. No? Therefore, the distance is 8. 8 to 8. Okay, yan. Although, madali lang din naman to, kahit di tayo mag-undergo ng, ng solution. No? Ito yung technique doon. Oh. Wala, balikan natin. Ito yung technique dyan, ha? Subtract mo lang to 10 minus 2. 8 yun. Diba? Kasi naparas naman sila sa, ano, nasa x-axis. Okay? Yung, uh, yung units naman, yung distance natin, eh. O, 8 units yun. 10 minus 2, 8. Kahit hindi na kayo mag-undergo sa ganitong process. Okay? Ito, pakita ko, ha? O, 10 yun. Minus 2. 
equal to 8. Pero applicable lang to kapag ganito yung problem natin. Okay? Ay, paano naman kung y? O, dagdagan natin ha. E, extend natin tong ano. Example. Ay, dyan, dyan. Example. Uh, y equal to sabi natin negative 4 and then y equal to 2 yan sabi natin y equal to 2 anong distance nila o subtract mo lang ito yung tinatawag na ano na na vertical increment no yung number 3 kanina ito yung tinatawag na vertical uh, vertical increment ito naman yung i'm sorry Horizontal increment, ito naman yung horizontal, vertical increment. No? So, nangyayari dito, sinusubtract lang natin. Negative 4 minus 2 equal to ilan? Negative 6. Eh, dapat nasa absolute value kasi wala tayong distance na yung value is negative. Okay? Lagyan natin sa absolute value. Okay? Itanggalin ko to. Yan, negative 6. Oh, that is equal to 6. 6 units away. Okay? So, that's it, no? Okay. Thank you for listening. And again, do not forget to answer your exercises, no? Yung quiz and assignment to be followed na. Okay, and then please uh, like, share, and comment. Then subscribe na rin dito sa channel na to. So that's all. Goodbye and God bless.